Hello Libras. This is your reading for the 13th through the 21st. This is a general love reading <clears throat> for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Okay, I saw one that wanted to jump. Got to take that. And it just spun around, but however I pick it up, it's going to be in the upright. Okay. For my Libras. Let's see what this is. I'm looking under the bottom of the deck. There is a page of swords there. There's this energy of checking someone out. Somebody may be checking you out even. Okay. What is this? Hmm. Judgment. Having to make a huge decision right now. This is Scorpio energy. I think you want all the facts first though. You need to see more. Know more. <clears throat> What's challenging Libras? Five of Swords. You're fighting. Somebody hurt you. Disappointed you. I'm getting that you guys feel stabbed in the back. You feel deserted and left by someone. And I feel like this person is trying to uh, come back in. And you're really not sure about their ass. That's Aquarius energy there. You're not sure about them. You almost feel like this person had, has no choice but to come back. Not like they really made a choice or wants to, but that maybe something else happens somewhere else and they're coming back towards you. Not as a last resort, but as a last resort. You're not feeling that shit. I think you really want to know more. You're trying to dig deeper to find out. Like, what's the deal here? What's really going on? Underlying issue here for Libra. Nine of Swords. You're not seeing things clearly. Gemini energy there. Something's clouding your judgment. Definitely. And I feel like you guys have been in this situation for a minute. Not seeing things clearly, overreacting, overthinking. Something is not how it appears to be, okay? Whatever that means for you. If you've been dwelling on something and, and running scenarios through your head, a lot of times when you continuously do that, you will make some shit up unintentionally, though. And you'll start to believe that, okay? So be careful with that. What's going on in the recent past for Libras? Then we have the chariot here. Hmm. I think you guys felt empowered um, before. And you felt like you were on the right track. But some somewhere along the way, I feel like something stopped you. Something stopped you because you were feeling like, okay, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I feel good about this, but something has, has hindered that progress. You felt good in a relationship. This is cancer energy here. But something has hindered the progress and now you're trying to figure out, should I resume this? Is this a good idea? But they hurt me. They did this. They did that. They cheated on me. They lied to me. And they knew exactly what the hell they were doing. Eight of Wands here. Sagittarius energy. Somebody's coming back in. Somebody's communicating with you like um, nonstop. And it's not allowing you time to really process and think, I feel. <clears throat> Crying thoughts for Libra. Ace of Swords. You feel like you know what the hell the deal is? <laughs> I know what the hell is going on. I do feel like there's something that you're missing, though. I think you guys, it looks one way. 
And it may be that way, but it's not totally that way. There are other things I feel like you need to take account of and take into consideration here. What's coming in for Libra? Page of Wands. Flirting. Hey, I still love you. Hey, I want to be with you. Can we start over? Are you still interested in me? This is what somebody say. Do you still want this? Do you still want me? Hmm. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. How is Le Libra viewing this situation? How is Libra viewing this situation? Again, there's that page of swords. You're really considering and thinking about this situation I think you need more information though you need to dive into this a little deeper because I'm feeling like you guys do not have all of the facts you don't know everything that you need to know okay what is the influence here for Libra The high priestess. You feel it in your gut. I think you you know immediately want to shut something down. But this person is in your heart. This person you have this connection with and you can't really explain it. You can't explain it away by facts. There's something here. There is a need for you to use your intuition. Listen to your heart. Listen to your head as well. Put both of them together. And do what you need to do for you to make you happy at the end of the day. Piscean energy there. I do feel Virgo energy. I see you looking at this person and really um, still carrying this torch for them. I don't think you want them to know that though. Because, I mean, you feel like this person did some bullshit to you. Hopes or fears for Libra. Queen of Cups. You want to love them. You want to be with them. You want to get along with them. I think in this situation, maybe the other person is way too... Uh, masculine. Maybe you want them to be more emotional. Show more emotion. Or either you want them to be less emotional. You want them to temper some shit. You know. But I get that you want to love them. You want to be with them. You want to care for them. You want them to care for you too. You want it to be reciprocated. <clears throat> Overall outcome here. For Libras. Emperor. Hmm. The Emperor is there. That's Aries energy. I feel like you guys will stand your ground at the end of the day. I don't feel like your love for this person is going to allow you to just be foolish for them. And I think when they come in, if you were the one that was wearing your heart on your sleeve and just being like, you know, giddy over them and being overly emotional, I don't see you doing that. I see you having way more control over yourself. I see you coming across like you could give a fuck actually is what I see I also see this person trying to still maintain a level of control in this situation with you and that's not working for you I think you need them to be more vulnerable be more forthcoming with shit. Be blunt. 
because I think you need to know something else. There's something that's that's not clear to you. And until you figure the shit out, I feel like this is going nowhere. It's going nowhere. But they definitely care for you. I don't know what the situation was with this person. Only you guys know that at this point because I can't see that. But there's something that created a roadblock in your relationship with someone here. And you're not falling for the okie doke. They're going to have to come with it. Okay? So that's what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Namaste.